Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So I did the ubiquitous hair show recently and then I saw the naturalista hair show so I was like I have to do that too. Just to compare, just to show it to you guys and just to experience a new type of hair show. So again this was sort of a first time thing because they did a special edition called an after show that was build a grown folks event. So I had to go check out this grown and sexy hair show for you guys and just let you know. <laughs> Let you know what it was about, how it was, was it like the truth or not, and so on. And of course, I have a whole video coming up, so stay tuned for that as well. <laughs> so, let me show you what it was, and then I'll come back and review it. Take a look. So, I'm at the Naturally Stay Hair Show. She might have been anything, so that's going. Um, and I'm gonna like check inside. So, the boots in the main area are kind of cozy, like just tiny little boots. So, I guess you have to be special to be outside, like of the funky camellias and oil. Everything else is just like these quiet little closets. Okay, so that was the organic cool. Um, she was selling like little scrubs for like, um, what was it? $24 I guess, but it was like sugar and oil, so I passed. Oh. Yes, nail polish. And t-shirts, respect the twist out. I hope you can see that. It's kind of cute. Hey y'all, what y'all doing? Oh. I said, how y'all doing? So Than this, but so people are enjoying it. So people 
also saying it tastes really good and stuff. So that's good. So I think it's like a great event, really, just to come and chill and you got your live entertainment and your products. So yeah, I think I would do it again. Maybe like just come with your girlfriends and stuff like that. So, but right now I think I'm trying to go home. So I think I'm done. I think so because I checked all the boots. So I got that one TJM thing which I got at first, the conditioner. So first time trying that, um, twelve dollars. And I got like some Alodia Naturals which is also like twelve dollars. Um, I got a deep conditioner, a hair cream like look like kind of like a leave-in and um, a cream gel from Alodia and. Like went to the tree nationals and everything was expensive as hell. But I got like a conditioner bar which I just had to try and a deep conditioner and a hair cream. Alright, so I guess I'm headed out. The stalls were cute, the vibe was nice, the music was nice, the MC was nice. So I think overall it's a really good vibe, a really nice vibe, but I'm a homebody and it's gonna be a little bit more of the same I guess. So I'm gonna take myself home. I loved kind of shopping with the food, with the music, with the MC and the DJ. Like it was just a whole other level. And the lounge vibe was there as well. A lot of people were really dressed up. I not so much. But the, the kind of lounge vibe, party vibe, hangout vibe was there as well. So that kind of added to the fun. So I did enjoy that part of it. I would say that some of the artists were more talented than others. So Listening to some of them sing, sorry to say, was kind of torturous for me. So I'm not a singer, but I like music and some of it was like, eh. But some of them were good as well. So I really enjoyed the first guy who was singing. The other singers, one was really bad, one was kind of sometimes bad. So they definitely could work on the quality of the guest performance, I guess. But the MC, she was really good. She was really funny. But the main stage, area was way too small for the event so i know they had some chairs and i guess having seats are a good thing but they needed to have more room around it for standing room because you have performers obviously people are going to want to see it but that area where the performers were, were really tiny as you saw so it got really crowded and i think people probably wanted to see but couldn't i guess hopefully next year they'll like adjust it and so on because this is the first year they're doing this side of it <laughs> I think there was salsa dancing, I didn't see it. Um, there was supposed to be a men's panel and a relationship discussion, I didn't stay for that. The speed dating was actually kind of cool to look at, I didn't participate. And it seemed like they kind of just maybe hired three guys. I mean the guys were well curated, <laughs> they call them snacks, the guys weren't hard on the eyes but like it just seems kind of like a waste of time to speed date with like hired daters unless it's for practice i guess i mean who knows maybe you could have impressed them that much that something couldn't really happen but it was a little weird like if they were taking random guys and random girls it would have been more genuine than you know date our official daters you know but i'm sure they had fun and it looked like fun i did catch a drummer a really talented drummer so that was fun to watch so overall it was good and I think just all the entertainments and so on was definitely worth the $15. So again, I feel like I made back my money just on having the entertainment plus the ability to shop. So that's better for me than the day session where I'm teaching you stuff I don't necessarily want to sign up for, so I'm not taking advantage of. Of course, I didn't take advantage of the different side things in this one, but at least I did hear the performances on the main stage and so on. So it was supposed to be like a fun event and a social event and a more party vibe than that the ubiquitous which was like the entrepreneurship panel this one was all about just getting dressed up looking cute there were a few vendors different from the ubiquitous so going to both was good at least you know one is before the other so you can probably say well okay i'm happy enough with one i won't go to both but there were definitely things in each one that wasn't in the other one so i don't regret going to both so in terms of like the actual shopping there were less vendors and the vendors were really squished together so they had these little 
cloth boots right next to each other. Don't remember how cramped the boots were in Ubiquitous, but it was more open somehow. This felt like little closets of cloth. I guess you saw it. So I didn't really like the boot setup. I prefer the Ubiquitous boot setup. Ubiquitous also had more space or seemed to have had more space. So it was more comfortable to shop. This one, you were like always kind of bouncing into people and there was no room between finishing one and getting to the other. They were like literally an inch apart each boot. So yeah, I didn't really like that. But the vendors were there doing their thing and I guess that's what really matters at the end. So I did get some stuff. Camille Rose was there, Oyen was there, Uncle Funky Soda was there. And they pretty much did the same sales as they did last time. So the Camille Rose was like $10 for everything. Didn't get anything. <laughs> Uncle Funky was like 30% off. And I forget what, how much Oyen was. So I do want to support her. Her stuff just doesn't really grab me. Just not the most exciting ingredients, I guess. It is definitely looks good, moisturizing. You know, your typical Shea Aloe Honey, but doesn't really get my PJ juices flowing. So I will try it eventually, but I didn't try it yet. I didn't see my Logonics this time. I didn't see like Cantu and ORS and all the others that were there in Ubiquitous. So Ubiquitous is definitely bigger. But Ubiquitous better come up with an after show next time because that was bomb. That was like up in the ante of hair shows. So grown folks. <laughs> so yeah, I would definitely recommend the after show and I would probably go to the after show again next year. I hope you were able to kind of experience the hair show with me. Definitely subscribe for more content and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!